right now to a Miami City Commission candidate facing new charges. Frank Pitchell was taken into custody over the weekend, and Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong is live outside the jail in West Miami Dade with what led up to this arrest. So this is the entrance to the jail. At this point, we know Frank Pichel, according to sources, is still hospitalized. We are expecting him to arrive here uh, sometime today. But, you know, Frank Pitchell, he was once a Miami police officer, ran for mayor, has previously run for commissioner, is very well known in the unusual world of Miami politics. And he is currently a candidate for District 1. That is the seat that was, cur uh, that was held by Alex Diaz de la Portilla until he was suspended by the governor after his arrest on corruption charges. So what is Pichel accused of? Well, he's facing one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According to his arrest form, he was accused by a witness of removing his opponent's campaign signs. And when someone approached him about it, he allegedly threatened them with a gun. Here is an excerpt from that arrest form. It says, quote, the victim confronted the defendant and asked, why are you throwing the signs? The defendant stated to them it wasn't him, but he could do whatever he wants. The argument ensued, at which point the defendant grabbed his handgun from his waistband, racked it and stated to the victim in Spanish, this is a translation, I'll shoot you and nothing is going to happen to me because I used to be a police officer. Now I want you to take a look. This is Frank Pitchell, but this is a mugshot from 20. 21. Uh, I don't think we have that photo for you, but he was previously arrested in 2021 for impersonating a police officer in Monroe County. At that same time, we should mention that he was also running for mayor against Francis Suarez. There's a lot to unpack here, a lot of history uh, with regards to Frank Pitchell and the city of Miami. And of course, we will be unpacking all of that as well as what he's accused of doing in this particular case coming up on later editions of Local 10 News. For now, reporting live here outside of the jail, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.